Number 10. Identify and label the Bronsted-Lowry acid, its conjugate base, and the Bronsted-Lowry base and its conjugate acid in each of the following equations. And then we have this equation right here. So in this case, we have to find out the four components, the Bronsted-Lowry acid and base and the conjugate acid and base, in NO2 minus plus H2O yield HNO2 plus OH minus. All right, so now the easiest way to go about this is first pick out the pairs. Pick out the components, one on, you know, both sides of the equation that look very similar. I like to work from left to right. So if I pick NO2 minus, I'm going to go to the product side and say, which one of these looks very similar? Is it the HNO2 or is it the OH minus? They got to have the same elements. Very similar. So yeah, nitrogen will hook up with nitrogen. So NO2 minus goes with HNO2. And then if you pick correctly, the other pair should make sense as well. Oops, that should be blue. So H2O goes with the OH minus, and that makes sense. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this conjugate business. Just know that conjugates are always going to be on the product side. Conjugates are like what you make from your acid and base. So this has to be a conjugate something. This also has to be a conjugate something. I just don't know which one is the acid and which one is the base. On the flip side, the actual Bronsted-Lowry acid and base, those are always going to be on the reactant side. So this has to be a BL, I'll say Bronsted-Lowry something, and Bronsted-Lowry something. Now let's figure out which one is actually the acids and the bases. Now just as a quick tip, guys, acids will always have one more H plus than their conjugate bases. And on the flip side, bases will always have one less hydrogen. So acids always one more, bases one less. So doesn't matter which pair you pick. Let's pick the greens. That was a, that was pretty, let's keep it straight or at least as straight as I can. Okay, there we go. So NO2 minus versus HNO2. NO2 minus has no hydrogens. HNO2 has one hydrogen. The acid will always have one more. So if that's the case, this has to be the acid out of the pair. And then because of that, this has to be the base. Do the same thing with the other pair. So now I'm going to pick out H2O and OH minus. H2O, there's two hydrogens here. OH minus, there's only one hydrogen. The acid always has one more, so H2O has to be the acid. So this is the Bronsted-Lowry acid, and because of that, this is the conjugate base. And we're done. Pretty simple, guys. What do you think? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and tell your friends. Tell your classmates that this channel exists. We also got physics and math videos at, on the channel at the moment, and we got... Much bigger plans coming in the future, so hang tight. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.